is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and I know I'm late on the bandwagon for this one, however, but because I've been on like a little holiday, I was in a little break in a little place called Norfolk uh, in the UK. I've been there for the last few days. I actually missed the Double or Nothing pay-per-view. However, I have actually watched it. I did um, watch it all. I watched all of the pay-per-view. Um, I skimmed through parts of it, but all of the big matches that I wanted to watch, I sat through, I watched, and I enjoyed. And, oh my God, can I just say, they knocked it out of the park with this show. This was incredible. Now, I am not going to turn around and be one of those guys that says WWE is absolutely up shit creek without a paddle. They're dead. Um, AEW is completely going to take over because we can't say that yet. They've had one show, two if you include All In. But realistically, no one can turn around, in my opinion, and claim that AEW is going to beat WWE because with one show, there's not really much you can prove. You can prove that you've had a great start, but six months down the line, when they've got their weekly show on, um, which is going to be Tuesday night something, uh, I can't remember what they called, but most likely going to be Tuesday night show, and once they've had a good few pay-per-views, in six months' time, we'll see where we're at. But right now, fantastic start by AEW. I was extremely entertained throughout the entire show. Um, top three matches were obviously in order, Cody versus Dustin, the Young Bucks versus Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr., uh, the tag team match, that was incredible. And then obviously Omega versus Jericho, which I believe could have been better, but the ending makes up for it all. So that, all them three matches, I absolutely loved. Obviously, we had the Battle Royal as well with uh, Ty Dillinger and, uh, you know, some different wrestlers that were in it. Tommy Dreamer, great show. Um, and the winner of that was Hangman Page. So we're going to get at the next show. I believe it might be called All Out, but I'm not sure. Um, at the next show for the AEW World Championship, which looks phenomenal, by the way. But we should be getting the Hangman Adam Page versus Chris Jericho for the AEW World Championship, which I'll very much be looking forward to. However, what do I take from this show? I think, all in all, the wrestling was fantastic. This offers a great alternative. If AEW are going to keep this up, this could be a perfect alternative to WWE. And it's one of them things where WWE could be the entertainment wrestling show, whereas AEW is the wrestling wrestling show. And it just gives more variety to the industry, which I'm a big fan of. And that variety opens up all these different doors for different kinds of wrestling fans to go and watch the product that they desire to watch. And it's just one of them things that is com it can be really great. If pulled off right, it can be really great. Um, it's like a WCW 2. I've seen other people describe it as, this is WWE versus WCW, but in this case... AEW's WWE and WWE's WCW. However, I don't think either one are going to go out of business anytime soon. And yeah, there's not much else I can say. Fantastic show. Was very happy with it all. Obviously, John fucking Moxley uh, turns up. Dean Ambrose, uh, FKA, was just completely ran in over the barricade at the end of the match. Confronted Chris Jericho in the middle of the ring. Bang, he hits him with Dirty Deeds. I don't know if they're going to be calling it Dirty Deeds, but... That's as what we know it. Then he dirty deeds the ref. Then he dirty deeds Kenny Omega, which, by the way, can I say, I called that first. JTW pick fed WrestleMania. Dean Ambrose versus Kenny Omega. I done that shit first. Uh, go check that out. But no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, that happened. Dean took the fight to Omega. Omega tried to fight back. Didn't work out very well. They go on top of the little casino chips on the top of the stage. Dean Ambrose hits an attitude adjustment to Kenny Omega off the top of the stage. And that's how Double or Nothing ends. And it was just mind-blowing. Throughout the whole show, there was different, loads of different things. that you sit back and go, wow. And that's what you need in a wrestling show. We had lots of little subtle hints, little digs at WWE. Um like what I presume is a dig at the start of the entrance where of Cody when he had like the Triple H style throne he gets up grabs a sledgehammer from under the apron bang hits the sledgehammer off the throne and it breaks uh, but yeah after everyone saying no they're not wanting to compete with WWE they're wanting to be their own thing they did take quite a few shots at WWE but who can blame them you know what I mean but all in all I am a big fan of this show. I thought it was fantastic and I uh, can't wait to see where 
AEW goes in the future. Their World Championship looks amazing. It's like the Impact title and the IWGP Championship have literally been thrown into one, which I'm a big fan of. I can only say positive things and we'll see what happens in the future. But if you're asking me, they're not just a t-shirt company anymore. They're a wrestling show and um, gotta love the good old wrestling. So yeah, I'm a big fan. Be expecting to see AEW content in the future. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.